In this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're gonna do a review and install of this 2-in-1 wireless CarPlay with dashcam from One Car Stereo on this 2022 Toyota Tacoma BRD Sport. Let's go. Let's quickly go over what's included in the box. This product was sent to me by One Car Stereo, who is a professional car audio manufacturer and supplier specializing in car stereos. They have different products for various applications allowing drivers to access Apple and Android apps on their car's entertainment system. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll remember that I have done a similar review and install of their AI box light. This 2-in-1 is an upgrade to that product with the addition of an HD dashcam on top of the wireless CarPlay with Netflix and YouTube capability. If you're interested, use my promo code THEMANDARIN for an extra 10% off on this product. I'll include the product links in the description box below. Here is the packaging that the 2-in-1 CarPlay dashcam came with. Nice and simple, and highlights the features of this product. It comes with this instruction manual, a power harness, Pi tool and micro SD card, and a 2-in-1 CarPlay dashcam itself. This feels premium, lightweight, and seems very well made at first glance. Before starting this installation, first go over some important information for this project. This process is meant to be a simple plug and play with no special tools required other than during the cable management. This instruction manual will have all the details on product specifications and key definitions of the CarPlay interface. This pry tool can be used to hide the power wires and make for an easier cable management. This SD card is a nice addition, although at 32 gigs, you may find yourself upgrading if you intend to use this device to record your drives. It also comes with this USB to USB-C adapter cable in case your car has a USB support. I won't be needing this in my case. I'll be using this long cord as the Tacoma has a USB port. This has plenty of slack that we'll need to hide the wires cleanly later. Simply plug this cable to the CarPlay USB slot of your Tacoma. For the dashcam itself, it has this sleek design that goes with the stealth look I'm going for, and also has this magnetic color that matches my Tacoma. As for the rear of the dashcam, it has these three slots for the power cable, which goes into the USB slot port, a SIM card in the middle if you aim to use this as a standalone rather than the hotspot, and a micro SD card for your video recording. Simply plug the power cable in on the USB-C slot. Proceed with setting up your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot. To connect the 2-in-1 wireless CarPlay with dashcam to your truck, you're going to need your phone with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot turned on. You only need to do this step once and the device will automatically connect to your phone allowing for wireless CarPlay and dashcam capabilities. Turn your truck on and follow the normal prompts on your entertainment system. Hit the menu button and keep an eye on the projection tab. This should change to CarPlay when the box is fully connected. This will take a couple of seconds during the first time of install as the device is adjusting to the resolution of your entertainment system. You'll notice that the middle green indicator light will blink slower when the device is connected. Then the screen should automatically change to the new interface. Click Agree and Accept and proceed with setting up your Bluetooth. In the top right corner, you'll notice that the Bluetooth is grayed out so let's go ahead and connect this to your phone. Listen. Grab your phone, make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on and discoverable for this step, and head over to your connected device and pair a new device. Search for AutoKit T-Box AR and click Pair allowing to access your contacts and call history. Wait a couple seconds and your phone will be connected. Now you'll notice that in the main screen, the Bluetooth is lit up and connected. 
You'll notice that your phone's name will also be part of the device list. Do the same for the Wi-Fi hotspot, which will need to watch Netflix, YouTube, and access all the other apps. Go to the Settings app, click Network and Internet, and ensure that the Wi-Fi tab is turned on. Then simply go to your phone's hotspot and tethering, allow for use of Wi-Fi hotspot, and click and connect that Wi-Fi on your entertainment system. You're going to need to input your password for the first time connection. As you can see, the Wi-Fi symbol is lit up and ready to be used. You'll also notice that you'll have this new pop-up tab. This will allow you to navigate through your new interface. You can use this to go back to the home page, navigate to the previous screen, go through your open app list just like your phone, use this voice commands, split screen like your laptop and computer, clear cache and go back to your Tacoma's main screen. Let's now test the apps included in this 2-in-1 wireless CarPlay with Dashcam. Let's start with going over the general interface. You'll notice a very simplistic design with easy-to-see app icons. Very snappy and doesn't have lag when scrolling. You can also move these icons around similar to your phone and access recently used apps on the left-hand taskbar. Next. Let's go over the Android Auto slash Apple CarPlay app. Click this and wait a couple seconds for this to connect the first time. Then, you should be taken to a familiar screen. Your normal Android Auto from the factory or Apple CarPlay if you're an Apple user will show up. It will have all the same apps you previously had and will function the exact same way, only wirelessly. You can also access the internet through the preloaded Google Chrome app. It's simple to use and a convenient option to search the web using the larger screen of your truck. You can also use the Play Store or App Store to download your favorite apps that are not preloaded on the system. Simply sign in and download the apps as you would on a phone or a tablet. Next. Go ahead and try YouTube. As you can see, it looks just like how you have it on your phone or tablet but on a bigger screen. You can still access all your notifications, sign into your profile, access your videos, shorts, and navigate through videos like you would on your phone. Let's try this video here. Ads are still there with the interface looking the same. We can skip this ad. In this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be installing these very affordable accessories from Amazon. Sound comes through the truck speakers nicely, and we can fast forward similar to our phone. You can also choose other videos while one is playing. Let's try this one. In this video, we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step installation of these OEM And here is Netflix, the main reason I wanted this product. Simply sign in, click your profile, and navigate like normal. You have your movies, TV shows, and categories. Let's try this one. You can still hit pause, fast forward similar to your phone or your tablet. You're never gonna shut down the machine, okay? Sound comes through normally with no lag on your truck speed. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. The last step in this installation is to set up and attach your HD dash cam to your windshield. You're gonna use this app called Load Key to access your dash cam control. As mentioned previously, you can move these icons around as you please. When clicking the app for the first time, 
you'll notice a warning sign here at the top indicating that the micro SD card needs to be inserted. The kit comes with a 32 gig micro SD card that we'll use to test this dash cam. Simply insert the card on the rightmost slot and you'll notice that the warning sign will disappear. It will be replaced with a red recording dot flashing on the left and the top right side of the menu. This indicates that your dashcam has started video recording. The app's interface has these options for setting adjustments including video capture tabs for your pictures, folder for viewing loop videos for your saved videos, settings to change your dashcam resolution, and these two folders for collision videos and your other loop videos. You can also use these four buttons to capture both pictures and videos, lock your screen, and turn audio on or off. I like the simplistic setup which allows you to access important dashcam footage and settings adjustment easily. I changed the setting for resolution on mine from 720p to 1080p. If you want to save space on your SD card, keep this at 720p. You can also factory reset the device here, adjust the collision sensitivity, which I kept mine at the middle. You can turn the mic recording on and off here as well and change the recording frame rate. I changed mine to 30 frames per second. You can also change the recording time or add and remove timestamp. I kept both of these at the default settings. After adjusting your settings, let's now plan out the dash cam location on your windshield. This location will vary based on your preference just make sure it doesn't block your field of view during driving. I decided to install mine as close to center as possible, right behind the rear view mirror using the live display as a guide for placement. After this, simply remove the protective film with the dash cam and the adhesive and mount your dash cam to your windshield. Make sure to apply even pressure to ensure that the dash cam is firmly secured to your windshield. As for the wires, simply run this through the headliner, behind the side pillar here, back to the USB slot from the bottom. Since this video is already getting long, please check out my other dash cam video here where I go step by step in detail on cable managing. Let's now test how quick this product connects in real time and go over my final thoughts. Their website did not say how long the pairing process should take, but I'm timing mine on my own experience here starting from me turning the vehicle on. I got about 25 seconds for my first time after connecting the Bluetooth, an average of about 20 seconds on my next couple of drive, which is great and super convenient. And here is some sample footage of my HD dashcam in action. This is set at 1080p at 30 frames per second. As you can see, the footage is very clear and I'm impressed with this dashcam's versatility. Here are some nighttime shots in similar settings as the daytime shot. This is still at 1080p, 30 frames per second. As for my final thoughts, here are the things that I enjoyed. I like that it was very easy to install and set up. As you saw in the video, a simple plug and play and once you've set up your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot for the first time, the 2-in-1 wireless CarPlay with dashcam automatically connects to your phone on future drives. The product is also very competitively priced and at the time of this video recording, One Car Stereo has a Christmas sale with free shipping plus an extra 20% off on their website. As mentioned at the start, if you're interested in this product, Use my promo code THEMANDARIN for an additional 10% off. I also like that it's a combo of both the dashcam and a wireless CarPlay system. 
This provides both options for having a safety feature of a camera while driving, in addition to the entertainment system and capability of downloading apps just like a phone. Most importantly, I like that Netflix, YouTube, and a lot of the other apps work for this. This will be very convenient while camping or during events where you have to wait on your car. I also like that this is very versatile and works with a lot of vehicles that has wired CarPlay. Like my other experience with One Car Stereo for the AI box light, I found that they have amazing customer service and response very quickly. Shout out to Dene for all your help. Here are a couple things to keep in mind before buying. Please note that this device does get slightly warm when in use. That's normal. At the time of this video recording, there is no option for a rear camera and a 4K resolution. However, the company continually works on its product upgrades, so I see this being released in the near future. Lastly, this device can work while driving. Please keep that in mind, make sure you're safe out there while driving, and be mindful of all the loss in your location. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this one car stereo 2-in-1 wireless carplay with dashcam review and install. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, hit it subscribing, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.